Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today here at Two World Thunder TV. Uh, again, we're in Black Canyon City, Arizona, in the home of Sonny Barger and Z, who've been gracious enough to open their home out to us to come and talk and view the film, Dead in Five Heartbeats, which is this. This is what you've got to go see. Joining us today is Jeff Black, who plays the lead character in the film, Dead in Five Heartbeats, Patch Kincaid. Patch, brother. <laughs> Appreciate you joining us. My pleasure, my pleasure. Nice to be here. We just had the honor of watching the show, almost like a private screening. Uh, you've done a great job of portraying the leader in this, this role. How did you come about developing that and, and becoming that persona and doing it in such a great way? Well, first off, thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. Uh, how I became, uh, uh, how I learned um, everything. I, I, I was given the pleasure of uh, uh, spending a lot of time with Sonny. Uh, and in doing so, I get to learn uh, more of how a leader uh, uh, runs, uh, not just uh, uh, a, a club, but it's a, it's a lifestyle. It's not just uh, something you turn on and turn off. It's something you are and you become. And then uh, I also had an opportunity to uh, work uh, during the movie uh, alongside a lot of people in the club and uh, uh, learned a lot more about um, these guys know who they are. Uh, uh, they're, they're definitive on their being and what they're about and their freedom and their independence uh, means more to them than anything else in this world. And uh, it, having freedom doesn't mean that you don't have a care in the world. Actually, with freedom comes uh, probably uh, more stringent rules and regulations that you hold a higher level of uh, uh, aptitude that you have to hold yourself to uh, internally, not for anyone else, but for yourself. And uh, if there's anything I walked away with from uh, from uh, working on this uh, film, uh, that would probably be the most valuable right there. Well, you play the character very well, and you've had some good schooling with regards to the teachers with Sonny and that you've got a great executive director uh, with Jeff Santo. Uh, he's done a marvelous job putting this whole thing together. And, but ladies and gentlemen, just so you'll know, just for the record, this guy actually does know how to ride motorcycles. I mean, he's actually a motorcycle rider. I mean, you just didn't take the Rider's Edge program course uh, a few weeks ago or a few months ago to learn how to ride to do this, did you? No, we did not. Okay, great. Um, I have 20 plus years uh, riding experience. Uh, Rode from my Harley from Chicago here to Arizona. Uh, during the film, uh, there was uh, uh, one day that we, I think we put on three or 400 miles uh, uh, in one day just to uh, show the ride on a, on a freeway. In some cases, we were doing 80, 90 miles an hour. There were no stunt guys. It's the real guys, the real guys that were on the bikes with the, uh, on those runs are real club members. Uh, Sometimes 80, 90 miles an hour, and we're three inches away from one another on the freeway uh, to get the 3D effect uh, with the cameras. Yeah, but that's the way real bikers ride sometimes. Sometimes they are that type, yeah, yes. Yeah, they, they bring it in close, and, and I know for safety purposes, ladies and gentlemen, that you're, you're supposed to ride staggered, and, and I know all the rules that, that they put out there for you to do. But in this movie, it portrays a lifestyle that doesn't always follow the rules, and it's more loyalty and respect and dignity for each other and a brotherhood and sometimes those brothers ride real close and at 75 80 miles an hour you better know how to ride a bike if i'm this close to you and we can swap business cards <laughs> or we can exchange ten dollar bills going down the highway you better know what you're doing uh, and for you to be able to do that in the movie shows that you know that you really do know how to ride a bike yeah you know jimmy it's, it's an amazing feeling too uh when when you ride with uh these guys as, as tight as you are on a motorcycle, it's the most amazing thing because you become one mm -hmm. unit. Uh, when one leans into a turn, you already instinctively are part of that team. Uh, when you ride that tight, uh, the entire group, whether there's only three uh, riders there or if there's a hundred, uh, you you're in sync with everybody else uh, in that ride. I don't know if it's... Uh, I'm explaining it right, but oh, it makes perfect sense to me, and it'll make perfect sense to the viewers who are going to come and watch this film, Dead in Five Heartbeats, uh, because they're going to relate to true bikers, and 
most of the people that we talk to and as we travel around the country, uh, they can spot people who are fakes on bikes or people who've just learned to ride a bike for a role. Uh, and those individuals who have the ability, the aptitude, and the skills to ride a bike, and then they play a role as a biker, it really makes a difference. And you portray this character of Patch Kincaid perfect on the show. Uh, we, we're sitting right here watching the show. And it was great the way that you come across with the lifestyle, uh, the attitude, and that's what it's all about. It's about doing things your own way and having it done your way. And you all portray that. So the bikers out there and the veterans out there who want to see a movie that accurately portrays the lifestyle and the freedom that we know as vets, all Marine Corps guys and veterans and bikers, this is a show, this is a film that you want to take the time to go see because it shows you what it's really like and not just the Hollywood version. Right. Check out deadin5heartbeats.com because there is all kinds of things on here that you can benefit from and learn from. There's some YouTube clips, all kinds of really neat stuff. Patch, I'm, I'm just going to use your character's name because that's so cool. I, that's a cool name. Who thought of that name anyway? Uh, that would be Sonny. Sonny. Sonny created that name, created a character, and uh, ever since uh, day one when he told me that I'll be playing uh, the lead role, uh, now everybody is calling me Patch from every from the clubs to friends, family now calls me Patch. So I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> it is. It is. It's it is pretty cool. Uh, but his real name is Jeff Black, though, and you can look him up. Uh, and we appreciate him being with us today. But uh, I think the word Patch is kind of cool, so I'm going to revert back to Patch. Uh, what was the hardest thing for you to adapt to in this? Wow, the hardest thing would probably be my voice inflection. Uh, playing Patch Kincaid, it goes to uh, uh, a much lower, deeper uh, uh, voice, which shows more power. Mm -hmm. And in some cases, uh, the film was shot in 24 days, so in some cases we were extremely tired, uh, and I was unable to get that exact pitch of uh, voice for Patch Kincaid. And in some cases we went... Uh, Many, many, many takes, hours extra, uh, trying to get there. But the great thing is uh, the director, uh, Jeff Sano, uh, he knew what he was looking for. So he, he doesn't tire. He will stay there. If we have to do 30 in a row, he will get what he wants on film. And it shows through the film at the end. When you see this film, uh, it's unlike any other motorcycle film uh, that's, that's ever true. been done before. Uh, it's it's like mixing a documentary, the feature film, uh, uh, with a reality show. Uh, there's no That's a such, good analogy. There's no That's such. A very good analogy. Uh, thank you. And uh, and he did a great job at uh, pulling that off. It, uh, it it goes uh, much deeper than you would ever think uh, uh, an average uh, or another film that would be out there would would do, especially at this level. It's true, it, and it's an independent movie because y'all didn't have an unlimited budget. I mean, you just couldn't go out and, and just spend and have your food catered in from the, the Hilton and all that kind of stuff. I mean, y'all were on a very tight budget, but you're on a tight budget and you produce a real life film that accurately portrays motorcycle riders in the lifestyle, but you also address uh, in, your, in your leadership role, uh, you give kind of a, a motivational speech there and really pulls everybody together. And you talk about the veterans who fought. Uh, both in Nam and, and Afghanistan, the sandbox parties, and and it's good the way you incorporate all those people, for they're fighting for a reason, and that's what everybody in this lifestyle is doing is fighting for their reason to exist, and that freedom to do what they want to do, how they want to do it, and a lot of people don't understand that, and they fear that which they don't understand, but this movie helps them understand that lifestyle. It's kind of like uh, what the show The Godfathers or something that peered into the, the, the lifestyle of the mafia or something. Right. Uh, but then when people understood it, they understood why the individuals acted the way they did and behaved the way they did. And even in a leadership capacity, uh, you would not abuse that authority. You were always cautious and you was always reserved. Well, let, let's find out the reasons behind things. And so it's not just some a bunch of dumb bikers getting together and, and doing dumb stuff. You 
portray the guys as being intelligent and as smart and the film brings that to the forefront and shows these guys these are real people they got good heads on their shoulders they know how to ride they know how to get along with each other they they interact with each other in a real positive fashion and they're smart individuals you know jimmy throughout history uh you go back all the way to the uh, 60s 70s uh, uh tv has dictated that uh, uh all bikers are these uh these thugs that just go out and just pillage everything that they come across. Yeah, right. Pillage and plunder. That's what sure. it used to be. Uh, the reality is uh, that's the make believe. Right. Here's the real uh, the real deal is in this uh, movie. Uh, just like The Godfather did for the mafia, it, you brought up a great analogy. The, this movie is doing for the motorcycle uh, industries because there are guys out there that are very, very well educated. Uh, it, uh, in fact, all of the uh, uh, voiceovers when I'm speaking are all coming from Sonny's other book, Freedom. Mm -hmm. It goes to show how how, how many layers deep uh, these these guys are. I mean, uh, Sonny especially, uh, he's brilliant. Uh, he his, really is. His 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 knowledge isn't in the stock market, uh, no. but if you take uh, you can watch this film over and over again and probably teach a Harvard class of uh, how you should be and act and, and do things in real life. In business. In, in mm -hmm. business. Right. Because if if you did follow all those rules, boy, this would be a much better world that we live in. We wouldn't have half the problems we have. You, know? you Sonny, and Jeff, and all the crew deserve a tremendous, um, outstanding compliment to be able to pull together a film. Because, ladies and gentlemen, all of you know this. The biker community has been starving, starving for a motorcycle m movie that actually made sense, that we could relate to, and that was really real. And you guys have been able to do that. You know, I, I think uh, the uh, Sonny and Jeff Sano uh, getting together uh, was the uh, two guys that are great at what they do and where they've been, and they're, they both got great history. Uh, one is a filmmaker, uh, one is a legend, of, uh, is the uh, pinnacle of American freedom, right? And by putting those two together, the film w wouldn't even be possible uh, to be able to put two, three, four hundred uh, motorcycles uh, on the road uh, going through making this movie. Uh, when Jeff or Sonny would speak, it was, you could hear a pin drop. There was so much respect for Sonny on set uh, that it, it, none of this was possible until everyone stepped, everyone not only stepped up, they over, they, they, they did far and above what they, anyone could have ever expected from them on every level, from wardrobe all the way up through to uh, riding the bikes, uh, staging, everything. Uh, everyone stepped up far and beyond the, anything that was asked of them. Check out Den and Five Heartbeats. Find out the city that's going to be shown close to you very very soon it's going to be rolled out i think it's arizona bike week coming up here april 5th yes. april 5th arizona bike week there's going to be 25 30 40 000 guys and gals on bikes there'll be a theater in town check it out find it out we'll probably be there at arizona bike week we're there most of the time a lot of cool folks hang, hang out there find out where this film is going to be and you make it part of your plan to be there this is important because this helps Understand, helps everybody understand our lifestyle and our culture and why we do what we do. And it's an honor to be able to be in Sonny's home and to have this privilege. And I can't imagine what it's like for you to work with him all this time. And I don't, yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, obviously it's uh, uh, probably the most important thing uh, I've ever done in my life. So, Well, thank you for joining us today. And again, go see this guy, Patch Kincaid, deadin5heartbeats.com coming to a town near you. Thanks for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Thank Appreciate you. it.